Okay, let's get the computer going. There we go. Okay, welcome to the class, everyone. You can probably hear the fan blowing on me because uh, this is August and it's like 95 degrees outside. Woo! Okay, so uh, in the past, students have complained about some of my videos have been low volume. So probably you've already turned down the volume, but that means that we're not going to have the problem of low volume. Maybe if I can like put my back directly against the fan, it'll block uh, some of the noise. Probably not. So this lecture is pretty much like uh, the lecture that you get the first day of class uh, in class where the professor will tell them tell uh, the students a little bit about themselves. Uh, I'll talk about what this class is going to be like and then I'll tell you about the content of this course. And by the way that's my cat Luna. I've had her for about a year and a half now. Uh, in uh, late uh, October we'll be celebrating our second anniversary together. Okay, so this is a video lecture. Should you be taking notes during a video lecture? Well, do you take notes during a normal lecture? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but you probably should. So first off, about me, I have a PhD in social psychology. Uh, in graduate school, I examined the fundamental attribution error, did a couple experiments on that. Uh, did an experiment uh, or so on the stigma of mental illness and uh, did my dissertation on gender and social support. Uh, did my uh, thesis and dissertation on both of those topics. Uh, taught at Wittenberg University, Wright State University. I realized I forgot St. Ola from the list. That's how long I've been teaching. Uh, but since uh, 2003, I've been here at York and I've been teaching IO psychology uh, pretty much every year, almost every semester. Uh, since then. Some of the research that I'm doing uh, just finished up a very interesting book chapter What Would Hermes Do? Hermes do? A Jungian Perspective on the Trickster and Business Ethics. I wanted to toss that in uh, because this is a business class. And uh, wrapping up another uh, research study on fandoms and trust in government. And I'm looking at the uh, uh, attitudes, the political attitudes that people in different media fandoms have, uh, such as Star Trek fans or Trekkies and Big Lebowski fans or Achievers, and if those uh, being in those different fandoms correlates to political attitudes. And uh, something I've been doing research on on and off since I've been here is defensive attributions and looking at the whole issue about uh, you know, how people attribute blame to other people uh, who have caused accidents and taking that research and applying it to sexual assault situations. So that's some of the research that I, I've been doing. I also, uh, unlike a lot of professors, have a management background. Uh, for about six years I was not teaching uh, but doing uh, nonprofit work. Uh, I was the Associate Director of Community Programs at the Family Service Agency, a community mental health center. Uh, and then I served as the Interim Ex Executive Director for a year. And then for several years I was the Executive Director at a nonprofit, the Community Leadership Association of Clark County. And I also have uh, different leadership uh, you know, experiences in my background also. And here's a picture of a cat I found, which is pretty cool. Uh, has nothing to do with the class, but I just want to break up a boring video lecture. So, uh, you're thinking about or you've signed up to take an online course. Let's ask a couple questions. Have you taken a 100% online course before, yes or no? Have you taken a hybrid class before? Uh, were the Blackboard assignments in in-person classes easy to do and easy to understand? Did you actually like them? And do you work well by yourself? Well, answer those questions. If you answered no to the above questions, this may not be the class for you. Uh, that is, if you haven't done online courses before, if you've done them and don't like them, if you don't like Blackboard, uh, you may just want to wait and take this as an in-person class uh, or take another class. So uh, it's really up to you. But if you like taking online courses, uh, and you understand that well, then this will be a good course for you. 
When you're taking an online course, there's a couple things that I recommend. First off, you need a computer and internet connection. Uh, because of video lectures, you're going to have to have an internet connection uh, that's usually broadband and a computer that can handle it. I always like to say as a rule of thumb, if you can watch uh, YouTube videos without the little circle of bars going around saying it's loading, uh, then you're in good shape. Uh, you need to have a place to work. Uh, I know a lot of students will work in their bedroom with their laptop on their uh, beds or they're using their family computer in the living room uh, or they're even at work. Uh, a lot of students have gotten by but I really recommend that you have a place where you have access to the computer and you can be by yourself or at least at certain times. And then you need to have good study skills. Uh, the skills that you would use in any in-person class uh, the stronger your study skills, the better you're going to adapt to an online course. Because a lot of the things that you need to understand about taking courses in general, such as keeping a schedule, uh, you know, keeping a diary of what assignments are coming up, keeping on top of things, uh, how to uh, you know, take notes uh, from a lecture, how to read a textbook and take notes, those are important things, especially important for an online course. Here's another picture to break things up. Uh, a space station. Looks like a Russian space station. Okay, so let's talk about the course. Uh, industrial organizational psychology is defined as psychology applied to work. Anything about the workplace, and if you're looking at it from a psychological perspective, then that's IO Psych. This course is going to be a survey of the field, and I'm going to emphasize some of the basic skills and the basic knowledge in IO Psych. Uh, so we're going to spend a lot of time on research methods, because research methods in psychology is a basic skill, and you have to have a basic understanding of that. Uh, some of the basic uh, you know, uh, topics in IO Psych, fair employment, that is a critical that you have a basic understanding of it, so we're going to focus on that. Uh, selection, uh, issues that are important to your own career and uh, your own career development, such as job interviews and resumes, those are important also, so we're going to focus on that. And another uh, basic skill in IO psychology is testing, that is psychometrics. What makes a good test a good test? And so we're going to be focusing on those topics. And I always uh, like to tell students, because we get a lot of business uh, students in this course that the topics are going to be similar to business courses in terms of names but the focus is going to be from a, an experimental research uh, you know perspective that is we're going to be uh, addressing topics such as motivation such as leadership from a research perspective and a psychological research perspective uh, the basic set of assignments we're going to have this semester is we're going to have quizzes and uh, you can learn more about these in the syllabus uh, but the quizzes are designed to help you study for the midterm and the final and so uh, you know the quizzes are going to be available all semester long you can take them as many times as you want and get as high a grade as you want and they're there to really help you prepare for the midterm and the final, which are higher stakes uh, grades. Uh, webinar attendance and discussion board participation. Every week we'll either have a webinar, an online webinar, or a discussion board and where some type of an assignment will be due. And we'll alternate off week by week. And uh, your grades will come from uh, your participation in the webinar and your work and participation in the discussion board. And then uh, our major assignment for the semester is identifying psychometric information. Uh, this assignment uh, is a very ecologically valid assignment for IO psychologists. I'd like you to uh, identify a research article in IO psychology that uses a psychometric test and just tell me the basics about the experiment and the psychometric test. And that's all the assignment is. Uh, you know, it may, you know, for you be more difficult than that, but that's really all I'm going to ask you to do. And then uh, we'll have a midterm and a final exam. 
uh, and these will be multiple choice like the quizzes. Uh, grading uh, quizzes are low stakes uh, even though we're going to have like maybe 13 of them, 14 of them, they're 15 percent of your grade. Again, they're there to help you study for the midterm and the final. Uh, the webinars and the discussion boards are again low stakes. We're going to have about six of each and they're 10 and 15 percent. Uh, the midterm and the final exam are the high stakes things and again the quizzes are there to prepare you for them. And then finally the paper, the group paper, is 15 percent. Uh, I mentioned a webinar, that's a, a live uh, you know, video chat where I give you a video lecture and you have a chance to respond. Uh, I'm asking everyone to have a microphone handy, a good microphone. Uh, and uh, this is something that I've just found on the internet which is basically what I would consider in the range of good and as you can see it's 12 bucks so the cost shouldn't really hold anyone back. Uh, using the microphone on your laptop that's built into your mi laptop will not really give good sound quality uh, so in the webinars people will have a chance to you know, talk with me and talk to each other and you have to have a good microphone uh, to be able to do that. And the flow of work over the semester. Uh, I need a pointer. Where's my pointer? That's not a pointer. Where are my pointers? Arrow. You can see it? I hope you can. Okay, so uh, here we have uh, the first week we're going to be working on online assignments. That is, we're going to be learning about how to work online. And we're going to be covering basic things about you know, working online. The second week we'll get into the uh, actual material of the class and using our textbook Schultz and Schultz. Uh, and then the second week we'll start with a webinar. And uh, then we'll go through uh, you know, whoops, I'm sorry, we'll go through this uh, semester each week, uh, you know, either having a webinar or a discussion board on different topics, and then we'll have the midterm exam, uh, the midterm, duh, and then continue on, and you'll notice I have some TBAs here for the webinars and for the discussion boards, and that's because I'm expecting that I'm not going to get through the earlier topics as quickly as I do uh, that I have them listed and so we'll be playing catch up and then we'll have a chance to have some open slots so that we put in things that students are especially interested in or students need some help with. And so the syllabus, take a look at the syllabus, everything's there and if you want uh, you can uh, ask questions or go and look at online office hours and uh, see if anybody's asked your questions, if I've answered them before, or if not, you can ask your question and I'll answer it. And then you can take a look at week one working online uh, to see what we're going to be doing, uh, and that should help you decide whether or not you want to take this class or stay in this class. Or if you're ready to get working on the class, you can go ahead and start working on the class. And I guess going with a fall motif, here's a kind of like a Halloween type uh, illustration. And so I, was, I like to say see you online, and Luna and I say goodbye.